if you are concerned about respiratory compromise or you are concerned about cardiovascular collapse, they go to ICU level of care. ICU level of care. But sometimes, you and I know that sometimes when we're calling our consultants or the admin clinicians, sometimes you get a little bit of pushback. Raise your hand if you've ever got pushback in your entire life on admin slides at all. Fair enough. And so the thing is, they may not understand the implications of what we've just diagnosed. They're like, man, why aren't you, uh, as a patient on, uh, on a drip, as a patient intubated? No, why are you calling me? So the thing is, from our perspective, this is may how they may be feeling, but I want to share something with you. Do you know what to tell your consultants to get a 0% pushback rate? Would you like to hear that? Can I have all my real physicians stand up? All my real physicians stand up. Everybody in this room should be standing up. All our real EP physicians should be stand up. So you know what to, to tell them to get 0% pushback rate when you're on the phone with them? You're like, who do you think you are? I'm an emergency physician, right? We tell them this, with a jack of all trades and master of some, and when that gold number comes, who's going to be that one to be at your bedside to get the job done? This motherfucking one has just begun a trauma. I got to get the trauma bay A to get my drugs made. Give me the sucks in the end of where I'm It's a critical patient, and she cannot wait. Here we come rolling in with a glass cow coma free, and all the guys turn over to me. Yep, and I'm wrecked to party at the head of the bed. Oh, my Mac free is a family's in the way. We're praying to the Lord for his life and praying that I see the cause of passes too right. Now that's why I don't fight. It's emergency medicine, man. Drop. <laughs> Thank you.